All right, guys, so next, the eyeshadow's done. Very easy, very simple. I'm actually impressed with the quality of that quad palette. Um, we'll review it all at the end, but next is going to be the AOA A Plus Buildable Satin Foundation. So I'm staying inside today. Today's my day off. So we're gonna go with the satin, but I'm in Arizona, if you guys don't know, and it is literally 100 degrees. So satin luminous foundations, unless they're waterproof, they do not work in Arizona during the summer. If you're from Arizona, comment down below, or even Nevada. The struggle is real during the summer, especially finding a foundation that is not gonna sweat off your face. It's literally almost impossible. Like the other day I was bartending and I wore um, the specific foundation, I'll review it at a later time, and it was literally falling off my face. I looked like a fucking clown. It was horrible. Um, anyways, back to this. So it does say shake well on the bottle. Here's what it looks like. I have seen some good reviews on this. Uh, the shade range um, is, I believe they have 15 to 20 shades. I'll make sure to put the correct amount down. But it has light, medium, and dark. And within those, um, those categories, you can choose. But it's very hard to tell online, you guys know. So I just ordered two just so I can match. So I have the shade, oh my God, it doesn't even say on here. I don't know, one's light and one's dark. We'll go with that. Um, so I'm gonna mix them both, obviously. I'll show you guys the shade on the palette. So if you guys are near my skin, you'll know what to get. So I have a foundation palette and I'm gonna do the mixing right here and I'll show you guys. So this looks like the medium color, I believe. So here's what, oh shit. Here's what the medium color looks like. It is runny, so you gotta be a little careful with that. Which one did I just use? I don't even know which one I just used. Okay, we'll find out right now. Shake well. Always follow the direction. That's the exact, wait, is that the exact same one? No, it's not. Okay, so this one's darker. And here's what they both look like. You can see the deeper one right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix. This is a clean foundation palette. This is actually a foundation uh, mixer palette that I used when I used to work at Morphe. I was a beauty artist at Morphe. That's where I got a lot of my training. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love makeup. So let's go right in. And I'm really excited to use this, you guys. There's nothing that does it for me than a flat top kabuki. And especially if I can find one at an affordable rate. This is $1.55. This is the AOA Studio High Definition Flat Top Foundation Kabuki Brush. Nothing gets me more than a flat top kabuki when I'm just blending. Oh, well, my favorite thing out of makeup, if I could pick, is probably foundation. So let's just fu oh, so let's just blend this and fucking do it. Oh my god, I'm a little nervous, but it's okay. Like the shade is obviously not perfect, but we'll make it work. That's what we do on this channel. We don't make excuses. We make solutions. Okay, so. Here, Just kind of dab it everywhere. Get my big ass forehead. Okay, let's just try with that amount and see what's what's gonna happen. Oh my god, the brush is like heaven, you guys. Totally blending out, awesome. If this brush lasts a long time, I will literally cry. Like, because the quality and the softness of this brush is like impeccable. Okay, so I'm just blending. Look, you guys, she's blending out nicely. She is definitely blending out nicely. Don't forget the ears. We'll get to that right now. What do you guys think? She's pretty. Look at that shine. This is not a dollar. No way. Well, it's like a dollar fifty-five. But I can't believe this. The ultimate test is how long will it wear? I'll update you guys in the description box. This is just the first impressions. It's not gonna be a wear test. But if you guys do want me to do a wear test, comment down below. Let me know. Wow. You guys, there's no edit. Like, I don't edit. I edit the videos. Well, I don't. But there's no editing on my face right now. This looks like glass. This looks like glass skin. And I didn't even use a primer to, like, induce the glass skin, if you will. Wow. I am... Yeah, I'm literally shook. 
I'm shook. Okay, and this is how much we have left. Let's see if it's buildable, like she says, because I'm a kind of a full coverage biatch. So let's see how she builds. Oh, she's building. And this, you guys, this brush. Oh my God, stop it. Shop me say, you better fucking stop it. No, don't stop. I need more and more and more of this because this so far is good. There's got to be something bad from here. There's got to be something bad. I hope there's not, but we can't all do it perfect, can we? Like, they might, though. You guys, look at the skin. And you guys, I have so much texture. I have so much texture. It looks like flawless. Yeah, I'm shooky-wooky. Like... I don't even need to use a beauty blender. I'm not even gonna smooth this out with the beauty blender. That is how smooth it looks. Wow. Thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. All right, you guys, the five head is now a, you know what, we're just gonna take this off because I'm gonna do my hair after and show you guys the final look. Um, she's blended, she's looking cute. She's not a five head anymore, thank God. Now I'm just gonna lightly, when I say lightly, I mean lightly, because if not, you're gonna mush everything together and ruin all your hard work. We're gonna lightly diffuse the blush and the contour together. Just so we don't have to go back in and do more blending. Remember, work smarter, not harder. You guys, look. Shook, shook. Something's got to be bad, right? Something has got to be bad. Like, okay, so now let me just redo my concealer real quick so I don't have any creasing because your girl has fine lines. Okay, now, you know what? I do, wait, will this be a good, this is way too small, but I said we're going to use nothing but the, pow, the AOA, so let's do it. Okay, so now I'm just going to pat right underneath the eye and set everything before she starts moving. Because I am oily skin. I'm combination, actually, but my T-zone gets very oily. Which, again, is not good for the summer. I'm going to take this down. I'm going to get my smile line, just so it doesn't crease too bad. Anywhere I highlighted, I'm placing this translucent Shop Miss A powder. Just so we can set everything into place. And remember, this is a satin foundation, so you are going to want to set a little bit more than normal, as if... It wasn't a matte foundation. Matte doesn't really move as much as satin. So I'm just going in. I'm cutting this bitch because we need to cut her. Give us that nice sculpted look. You know what? This powder's not the best, but it's not the worst. I've definitely had worse, and I've definitely had way better. You know what? We have to cheat. I need a, I need a bigger brush. Hold on. Okay, so this is my uh, BH Cosmetics Jumbo Brush. This is gonna be a lot easier. Like, come on. And I am going to set this part lightly, but not enough to take away what we did, right? We don't wanna ruin all that hard work we did. And then I'm gonna go in with the powder contour and powder blush. So, all right, this is set. She's set, honey. Okay, so next we are going in with uh -huh, I forgot to do it. Now I can't do it. Can I? Let's try it. You guys, I forgot to go in with this highlighter. But I'm already, I'm already set. It's too late. It's gonna be a mess. It's gonna ruin everything. Um. So next, let's go in. Okay, this is Malibu Glitz. This is another line on the Shop Miss A. Um. So it's majority Shop Miss A, but this is another like I guess third party vendor that they use or third party makeup line. What the? Okay. Cool. So let's use, I don't have a blush brush, so I need one. Let's use, this is my Morphe M462. It's amazing for blush, as you can tell. Um, once again, Morphe, some of my favorite brushes. Let's go in and lightly, ooh, hi. Lightly, who am I, who am I kidding? Let's go in and give this motherfucking blush. Pretty, she's a little powdery, as you can see, but what can you ask? You can't ask for too much when everything's affordable, right? But you guys! Honestly, I'm shook. I will tell you something's bad. Trust me. I, I will. Like, I, I don't... 
You know, if you're gay, you know the gays, we don't, most of them, we don't fuck around. We're gonna let you know. I, at least I can speak for myself. I say it like it is, when it is, how it is. This is giving. Like even naturally looking in the mirror, I'm like, okay, yes, I would go out like this. Not like, hey, I'm gonna wipe this off. Like I'm definitely keeping this on all day. All right, now let's go in with a contour shade and yeah, we can finish off the look. All right, guys, so this is the lashes I'm gonna be putting on. Excuse the glare. This is the 3D Shot Miss A, $1.55 in the style Nicoletta. Um, I would be putting them on in front of you guys, but we'd be here all day, so I'll be right back. So I'm back, just got done putting on my lashes. Super natural, super pretty. You guys, let's do a review on everything we just talked about and we just tried out. Honestly, I am thoroughly impressed. This is the final look. Look at the eyeshadow, look at the foundation, look how smooth the skin is, the contour, the blush. So let's do this one by one. Let's talk about the eyeshadow palette first. So the eyeshadow palette was definitely a go. Their social medias as well. Let's move on next to the the star of the show. She took the cake. I will be using this a lot. This is the AOA Studio Satin Buildable Foundation. And I had two different shades and mixed them. For the price, you can buy two or three and still be way under a, a normal drugstore of makeup price. This is so beautiful. Look at the skin, you guys. There's no filter on here. This is absolutely stunning, 10 out of 10. Um, let's go on to the blush powder. The blush powder is pretty, you can definitely go with it. I mean, for sure, we'll give it an eight out of 10. Let's go on to another of my, my babes. This was a killer, stole the show, 10 out of 10. This is the liquid color flush liquid blush from Shop Miss A, bomb.com. Let's move on to the brushes. You could do without them, but if you are on a budget, I do recommend them. Um, I didn't really use that many just because there's not a lot with that we needed to do with the eyeshadow. But if you like Kabuki foundation brushes, yes, this bad boy, this is the AOA Studio High Def Brush F1. Totally amazing. Seamlessly put on my foundation. I did not have trouble blending. It was like 1 to 10. We were there. We made it happen. It was absolutely beautiful. Amber Top Secret Concealer. Look at this contour. She is giving... Remember, cool tone is for contouring. This is a cool tone um, contour, AKA top secret concealer. My contour looks per superb in my opinion. I'm very, very satisfied. What else did we use? Oh, off camera, I used the Big Boss Mascara Volume and Length. I definitely, definitely like it. Um, good deal right here. Oops, drop that. I did set with the um, setting spray. If you're looking for affordable setting spray, why not? It didn't really do much. It did set my powders into place. Um, I can't really speak much on that. What else did I use? These lashes are so pretty. This is the uh, Style Nicoletta. I'm gonna have everything linked down below. The powder, um, I'll give it a five out of 10. It's not doing much for me, but if you need a powder, why not? You guys, this is the final look. Tell me what you guys think. I'm thoroughly impressed. We just did a full face for under, I'm gonna say $14, which is impeccable. I would actually wear this like out. I would wear this to the salon. I would wear this to a client. I would wear this on a social event. Nobody would know that this was um, Shop Miss A, $1.55 makeup. 10 out of 10, you guys. Um, there's my thoughts on the products. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed what you saw today, Please give this video a thumbs up. It does help the channel. Comment down below. What did you guys like best about today? What could you live without? Have you tried any products? Am I missing out on something? Let me know. Subscribe. I have two videos a week. And I'm so excited that we did this together, you guys. This is super awesome. I love the way it turned out. Subscribe. Become a part of the familia. Become a part of my beauty family. I love you guys. Remember, haters are going to hate. My next upload will be next week for beauty. And don't forget to...
to watch my video that I'll be uploading today and that will be on my health and beauty vlog. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.